somebody is going through something right now. Sickness in your body. You've lost your job. You've lost your home. You've lost your car. You've lost your marriage. You've lost your kids. The economy has affected you and your family. My friend, you need a breakthrough. Hello and welcome to It's Time for a Breakthrough, the outreach ministry of the House of Faith, Church of God in Christ. The house where faith manifests change. With our pastor, Ola Mac A. Harris Jr. Our church is located at 2934 Lowell Avenue. That's 2934 Lowell Avenue, here on the west side of Jacksonville. Where the telephone number is 904 388 7428. That's 904 388 7428. We invite you to come and worship with us. Our Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m., followed by morning worship at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night and Friday night service both begin at 7.30 p.m. Well, it's time for a breakthrough. Prepare your hearts and minds to receive a word from the Lord. God bless you. Thank God for this opportunity to encourage you. Amen. That it is your time for a breakthrough. Listen, I thank God for what God has been doing on this year. God been doing mighty works in our life, and He was worthy of the praise, worthy of the glory. Listen, I know that you are blessed, and God has been doing some awesome things in your life through all the trials and the tests you've been through. But beside all of that, there are some many things that God has done for you this year. So He's worthy of the praise, He's worthy of the glory. And that's what we want to encourage you on this day that you would take time out to tell God thank you, to give Him some praise for all the mighty things. He has done in your life. This is Pastor Harris, uh, the pastor of the House of Faith, Church of God of Christ. And this is the radio broadcast. It is your time for a breakthrough. And I know that God has been doing awesome things in your life. Listen, I want to I take a moment to pray with you, amen, that God continue to bless you, that that very thing that you've been going through, that God is moving mightily in your life. Because yet, even though we are still in the press, uh, we're still facing things in our life, our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think to know that he's able and that we don't give up we still believe and trust that even in this test we're going through that God's able to bring uh, bring us through so don't give up my friend don't you get discouraged in the midst of your marriage don't you get discouraged on your job don't no don't you get discouraged in the midst of your sickness but you claim what God able to do dear heaven father we thank you right now for this opportunity to encourage somebody hard they're at the point of about to give up they're at the point of, of being frustrated being burdened being stressed out but in the name of Jesus Christ we we speak healing to their heart we speak healing to their mind that even in this season in this hour that they yet still claim their miracle claim their breakthrough oh lord we pray for their families right now god we pray for healing in marriages and healing in relationships between the siblings and between the uh parents and child god we ask you right now to move every stumbling block that's in the relationship lord we thank you lord for all the money things you have done for us this year thank you god for the blessings you have given us lord we give you praise god for how you have blessed us and kept us in the midst of a challenging financial year but god you have made a way and we yet give you glory god we claim the breakthrough in our finance we claim the breakthrough in our homes and god we thank you lord we give you glory we give you praise. Thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. Uh, thank you for the blood that has set us free from all power of the enemy. We give you praise now and we give you glory. Thank you for healing right now. The healing you're giving our homes. Uh, the healing you're giving our finance. And God, we claim it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, thank God. Amen. We bless you. We thank God for all the money things God is doing in our lives. My God, God has done some awesome things on this year, even as we begin to look back, amen, and see how God has made a way. 
And my friend, you got to look back and see all the things that God has done because surely he has made a way. And many of you, many of you may be saying, you know what, I'm still going through. But listen, God has brought you through. God has sustained you and kept you. You know what, a lot of times we don't tell God thank you for his sustaining power. You know what, you might not got all that you want and all that you expect to have. But listen, God has sustained you. God has kept you. You still alive. You still have breath in your lungs. Amen. You got to take time out to give God some praise. Amen. Maybe that's the reason why we sometimes don't get to see the, the greater miracles in our life because we don't take time out to tell God thank you for the small things. Tell God thank you for life. Amen. Tell God thank you that I woke up this morning. Oh, tell God thank you that I still got food on the table. You got to learn how to give God the praise. Don't allow the enemy to place all that heaviness and that stress on your life. Praise your way out of all that pressure and, uh, and all that frustration because he deserved the glory and the praise. That's what you always got to remember, regardless of what state you are in, God's still worthy of the glory and the praise. So, And that's what I want to share with you today because as, as we're talking in the, the month of November and you know that Thanksgiving is is, is, is closely approaching and you know what, we got to remember to give God some thanks, amen, throughout Amen. Through not just in this month, but throughout our whole life. Learn how to tell God thank you. Every morning you ought to wake up and give God and tell God thank you. Not only give him praise, but go down the list and tell him thank you for everything in your life. Amen. Learn how to tell God thank you for all his mighty works and the things that he has done on this day. And the scripture that I want to focus on throughout this month, amen, was amen coming from Thessalonians, first Thessalonians, uh the fifth chapter. Verse 18, and it says, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, in everything, give God some thanks. In whatever you're facing, but learn how to tell God thank you. Learn how to take time out to give him some praise. You know, a very familiar story that took place as I, as, as I focused on that verse. I, I thought about the men that, that, that in the... Uh, in the book of Luke, amen, the 17th chapter, uh, the men that was leopards, the 10 leopards that, uh, that went and saw Jesus. As they saw him come into the city, and as they uh, saw him afar off, amen, they cried unto him and with their voices, and they said, you know, Lord, amen, Master, in verse 13, he said, and they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And, you know, and when he saw them, he said unto them, go show thyself unto the priest. And it came to pass as they went, they were cleansed as they as they went and started their journey to the priest. Uh -huh. The manifestation of the healing was taking place. Yes. Uh -huh. And then it goes on further to say, and, and, and as one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And go down further in the verse. In the verse, and it goes on further to say that in verse 18 it says, "They are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger." And he said unto him, "Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole." Focus on giving God thanks and giving God praise. Amen. When you see, look back and see all that God has done in your life. Amen. And many of you, you know what? You may be focused on the fact that you're still going through some things. But my friend, if you can only look back, look look back in your heart and in your mind and really count the blessings that God has done in your life this year. You know what? God has done brought you a mighty long way. If you got anything to give God praise for, you can always tell him thank you for, amen. The greatest blessing in your life is the fact that his son died for your sins, amen. The blood was shed for you, amen. You've been delivered from the power of evil, amen. Delivered from the power of the enemy, amen. Amen. You've been set free, amen. Just one reason you can give God some praise, amen. Amen. That you're no longer bound by the enemy. That you've been set free by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. But that's not all 
that he has done for us. Amen. We look down through our life and look even on this year, all the many things that God has done for us. Amen. Have God has made a way. God has kept you. God has done many things in your life. And yes, along this way, you have lost some. You have, you've been hurt. You've been afflicted. But my friend, I guarantee you that your bless, that your, your problems don't outweigh your blessings. If you can ever look at your blessings and remember to give God thank you and give him some glory in all things. Tell God thank you. Give him some praise. Amen. This man, as he saw the evidence that his life was being changed, amen, he could have went on his way and and, 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 just, and just was happy, amen, about the fact that his body was being healed. But listen, he was so grateful to what God has done. You know, when you really suffer, when you really been through, when you really know what it's like to go through and God make a way, it's easy to give God some praise, amen. You know what? We got to learn how to tell God thank you, amen, in the midst of everything. Give God some glory and some praise, amen. Let him know, amen, that, Lord, I'm grateful for every little thing. I'm grateful for the food you put on the table. I'm I'm grateful for you being able to put gas in my car. Lord, I'm grateful, amen, for you keeping me on my job. God has been doing so many wonderful things in our life, and we owe him the praise. Amen. The truth is, amen, my friend, if you can only learn how to tell God thank you, it sets you up for another miracle. It sets you up for another blessing. Even though this man, amen, saw the evidence uh, uh, of his healing taking place, there was still a completion this man need. He wasn't made whole, amen, amen, but his faith showed up, amen, as he turned back to Jesus and to say, Lord, I want to tell you thank you for what you're doing in my life. I thank you for the little things. I thank you for uh, oh God, how you made a way. Listen, he was, God was able to do some other great things in his life. Jesus was able to bring complete healing in his life. And my friend, even though you've been blessed, there's still some areas of healings that you need. Uh, there's still some other things you need God to do. So in the midst of what you're going through, learn how to tell God thank you. Learn how to give him some praise. Amen. There's something about your faith in God that shows your gratefulness. When you have faith in God, when you know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think, when your confidence is in the Lord, when you're waiting for God to move, it's easy to give God some praise in the midst of it. When you know where your help come from, you can always tell God, thank you for what you're expecting God to do. Amen. Thank God, amen, for this man, amen, that showed us the example, amen, amen, that what it's like, amen, to tell God, thank you, amen. Amen. As we go back, amen, to, to Thessalonians and we look back at that and we see how it says in everything, give God thanks. Amen. In everything, amen. Thessalonians, second test, first Thessalonians, uh, verse chapter five, verse 18. In everything, give thanks for this is the will of God of Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. In everything. Amen. You're going through some things right now, but tell God, thank you. God got a way of working it out. Amen. God got a way of turning that thing around. He's preparing you. He's molding. He's shaping you. But God is up to something in your life. So don't allow the bad times. Don't allow the challenges. Don't allow the heartbreak. And my friend, we do go through some heartbreak. We do go through some period of discouragement. But in the midst of the discouragement, tell God thank you. Realize that God is in control. Realize that God is able to turn it around in your life. Don't allow your cave situation. Don't allow your fiery furnace. Don't know. Don't allow your Red Sea to get you down. But know that God is able to make a path through the Red Sea. Know that God is able to sustain you in the, the fiery furnace. Know that God is able to keep the lion's mouth closed in the lion's den. And in the midst of it, don't focus on the lion. Don't focus on the fire. Don't focus on the Red Let's see, but focus on God. Give God some praise. In the midst of your situation, tell God thank you and watch what God able to do. God able to make a path through the Red Sea. He's able, uh-huh, not only to sustain you in the fiery furnace, but he able to bring you out. Not only is he able to keep, amen, the lion's mouth closed all night long, but he able to lift you out of the lion's pit. So in the midst of what you're going through, tell God thank you in everything. Give God thanks. In everything, give God some praise, amen. You're going through some broken heart situation now, but tell God thank you. Don't 
allow the enemy to get the praise, but give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the worship. Amen. Know that God is able to bring you out. And in the midst of your praise, my friend, that's where your breakthrough lies. That's where your miracle lies. In your hope, in your confidence in God, that's where God show up and begin to move. And that's where your healing going to take place. That's where your breakthrough going to take place. In your praise, in your worship, in you telling God thank you. That's where God begin to heal and mean your family. Don't allow the frustration to get you down. You hang on in there and tell God thank you. Give him some praise in the midst of it all and watch God move. Watch God move in your body. Watch God move, amen, in your finance. Watch God move in your family. Watch God mend everything back together again. Oh Lord, we thank God for this opportunity to encourage this individual. God, I hope and pray, Lord, that your word touch their heart, that they able to give you praise in the midst of it. And God, while they're giving you praise, God, give them that unsuspected miracle because it is their time for a breakthrough. You be blessed. Thank you for listening to It's Time for...